How's it going out there, everyone? This is WFS, your doctor, and today, well, here we go again. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny director James Mangold claims composer John Williams is mistaking about the new ending to the film, but then claims he's fully informed. You know, this is the rumor that just refuses to die, and honestly, I love it. It's definitely helping me out, <laughs> and it gives me a good laugh at the same time, because it just goes to show you that Disney can't get this under control. They really have no way of stopping the rumors. Just when they thought he, they can bring Mangold out there and say, no, 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 it's all a lie, it's all a lie, it's not true, stop listening to the trolls. Then the composer, Williams, comes out, famous composer, music composer, I mean, he's like he's like a god to the composing world. And he comes out and says, well, we got a couple more scores to do on the indie film. And now Mangold is out there once again saying, it's not true, it's not true, he's misinformed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's a good guy, he's a good guy, he's well informed. What the hell is going on over there at Lucasfilm in Disney is just something that is just priceless to be watching here. It's just comical they can't get their act together. But before we get into the article here, can we please... First of all, click that like and subscribe button. Be greatly appreciated. And for those of you who have, thank you so much. It's definitely appreciated, and I love you guys for it. Now, let's get into the rumor that's not a rumor that is true, that is not true, but is, but isn't. Whatever. Let's get into it. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, or the Dial of Miscommunication, Director James Mangold sent mixed messages regarding recent comments by composer James Williams regarding a new ending being shot for the film. <laughs> okay, so Williams appeared in Italy where he informed his audience that he would share a number of songs from the upcoming indie Dial of Destiny film. Not only did he share with them the number of songs, he also revealed that they would be shooting a new ending to the film, seemingly confirming multiple rumors the film had several endings. So, once again, we're back to the, hey, there are rumors of multiple endings. Well, guys, everyone, I'm going to be shooting some new score for the new endings they're going to be doing. Williams stated, here are three pieces from the Indy 5. I felt we would be finished with Indy 5 after, after 4. You know Harrison Ford. You all know who Harrison Ford is. And Harrison is 78 years old. But he's much younger than AIM. Well, well, I think they meant to say than I am. Well, I thought uh, if he could do five of them, I have to try to do the final five also. He then stated, so we just are about to complete the film. We have maybe another ending to shoot and record, maybe in a couple of weeks. In a tweet, Jones Campbell, Campbell, last night, John Williams told his audience that they are shooting a new ending to Indiana Jones 5 in a com couple of weeks. Thanks to Doomcock for the find. Added captions for you. Now, here is the clip that was that was released. There are three pieces from Indiana Jones 5. I thought we would be finished with Indiana Jones after 4. <laughs> you know Harrison Ford. You all know Harrison Ford is. And Harrison is... 78 years old, but he's much younger than I am. And I thought, oh, if he can do five of them, I have to try to do the fun five also. So we have just about completed the film. We have maybe another ending to shoot and to record maybe in a couple of weeks. And, um... Well, you heard it from the man himself. We have another ending to score in a couple of weeks. These comments appear to confirm rumors regarding Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character replacing Indiana Jones in the movie. YouTuber, and I know some of you hate him, but YouTuber Overlord DVD, also known as Doomcock, 
Originally reported back in 2021 in June, two endings are surprisingly being considered in the script. I guess they're, be, they're being rewritten and they are going to shoot both of them. Both endings allegedly have an old Indiana Jones dying at the end of the movie. But in one of the rumored endings, young Indiana Jones dies alongside old Indiana Jones and Phoebe Waller-Bridge swoops in and like a vulture, I love that, like a vulture, picking up the hat and takes his place moving forward. Now, Doomcock has done multiple videos since 21 regarding the rumors surrounding Phoebe Waller-Bridge replacing Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and moving forward in time, erasing all that our Indiana has done and somehow she becomes Indiana Jones. But now we got mangled out there several weeks ago them claiming, swearing up and down, the rumors aren't true. Why are you following people why are you following people like Doomcock? Why aren't you trusting me? I'm making the movie. Well, because you guys in Hollywood have had such a terrible job of making movies these days, not to mention your fact you've done such a great job of lying to your fans that why would we want to believe you, especially if it's coming from Disney? Disney doesn't have the best track record these days. Okay, so just to recap a little bit of what Mangold said in the past, no, one more time, no one is taking over or replacing Indy or donning his hat, nor is he being erased through some contrivance. And he was, never was, not in any cut or script, but trolls will troll. That's how they get their clicks. Okay, so this is what he said in the past. So let's see what he said now. Now Mangold is responding to William's comments, saying, So, I took a B-day break from trolls but it seems i gotta once again say we're not shooting and never shot any new scenes or alternate endings our film is 99 percent finished getting rated by mpaa and verifax being completed holiday happy holidays so here he is in the text i and i i guess i'll repeat it again so i took a b-day break from trolls but it seems I gotta once again say it. We're not shooting and never shot any new scenes or alternate endings over. Our film is 99% finished, getting rated by MPAA and VFX being completed. Happy holidays. So he's out there once again saying, nope, nope, it's not true. It's not true, but here's the problem. You've got the composer of your film saying, I gotta shoot some new endings. I gotta score some new endings of this film. So which is it? I mean, he does say right here the film is 99% complete. So what are you saying? You held off on that 1% until just before Christmas to do it? Mangold also claimed or chimed in on a discussion involving Williams' comments where he informed one user, John was mistaken. Ah, maybe read Twitter too much. He then re reiterated, we're not shooting new endings. Never did. The film is 99% finished and being rated by MPAA. Mango concluded, this Im imagined zany ending with Indy being erased or and replaced is a fever dream of wounded folks angry of other films I didn't make. He sounds very angry, people. Okay, so now we go down to Nick Matthews replying. One, John Williams, December 12th. Two, he says, shooting another ending. Three, no Indy will still be lectu lectured on his white privilege 20 minutes in. Just happy I won't have to ever see Indiana Jones erased from history and a woman takes his hat and re redoes his adventures. Co-play co manage original ending. Excuse me, that was Co's play. Excuse me. Okay, this is where it gets interesting, people, though. Mangold responds. One, John was mistaken. Maybe read Twitter too much. Two, we're not shooting new endings. Never did. The film is 99% finished and being rated by MPAA. Three, the, this imagining zany ending 
with Indy being replaced and in a fever dream of wounded folks angry about other films I did not make. When asked further clar clarification on William's comments, Mangold asking, joking, mistaken, or misinformed, not happening. Mr. Mangold, can you clarify what John Williams was talking about then? He clearly said they're shooting another ending. Did mean another ending for Indiana Jones' story or another ending for the film? Mangold's reply was, <laughs> joking, mistaking, or misinformed, not happening. However, he would, con he would then claim that Williams was fully informed in another response. Mangold wrote, I agree that he's one of the greatest composers in the history of film and also one of the most lo lovely people on earth, and he's fully informed. And then we have another, another tweeter coming out here, uh, Shakeford. Well, he seems rather sure about his and serious about what he said in the video. Did you suppose that one of the greatest composers of the motion picture era is worth at, at the very least an email letting him know that you won't be requiring his services moving forward? Maybe a phone call? And Mangold's response was, I agree that he's one of the greatest composers in the history of film and also one of the most lovely people on earth and he's fully informed. Okay, right there. Which one is it, people? And so I think Mangold's getting a little frustrated here because Dino's review, so why did John Williams talk about reshooting and rescoring the ending? Mangold, he was mistaken, asked and answered elsewhere. So in other words, Mangold is getting annoyed with everybody because there are so, there's just so much BS going on over here. This is one of those rumors that just, just gets better and better each day. So now we have more fresh blood on the table, ladies and gentlemen. The rumors are just so sweet and juicy here. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because <laughs> I don't think this is going to bode well for the final film. And if Disney and Lucasfilms don't get their act together real soon, you, we may be witnessing the ending of a legacy franchise as well as the end of the Lucasfilms. God, Willow's a train wreck. Star Wars is, uh, well... The Force is not with us anymore, people. It's just, it's bad. And Indiana Jones and the Dial of Misinformation is just not going well here. So I'm going to end the video right here, but I really want to hear your comments on this. So please, comment below and let me know. Until the next time, my friends, I'm WFS, your doctor. And until then, God bless you and have a Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah.